Right now in our online store, shop.theladygang.com, we're offering 20% off with our code LADY. We're offering so many things this holiday season, perfect for gift giving, wearing to your holiday parties, or just for you. Whether it be a luxe velvet wrap dress that was based off our best-selling wrap dress from Express, or it is our sexy mature sweater dress that really looks incredible on all body types to our pen sets, journals, hats, signed books, and even the iconic swag it. Everything is 20% off right now. Use our promo code lady to shop now shop.theladygang.com and every time you shop we donate a menstrual cup with our partner salt to a woman in need so you can feel good and get something cute for you if you're entertaining this holiday season head on over to mychinet.com and use the chinet brand and i'll tell you why it's freaking easy handling your families and entertaining and having people over is hard enough so why not use the chinet crystal collection there's beautiful cups and plates and saucers and knives and forks and spoons i'm using them right now in my house while i have no kitchen but i mean you could use them for a fancy event they're so pretty they're completely disposable but here's the best part they're made of 80 percent recycled materials so you can feel okay about them being once used and you can feel okay about not wanting to do the dishes after you've just entered people for 10 hours at your house. They're made in the USA to cut down on transportation impact, and you can visit mychinet.com to find out more. We love mychinet.com. There's so many options. I also love the comfort for the coffee, and then they have the regular. And by the way, I was microwaving chili in this bowl the other day, and it did not get soggy at all. So visit mychinet.com to find out more. Mychinet.com. Thanks. Close to our heart is the belief that ladies give back and show up for others. Right now, there are over 300 million women and girls that live in period poverty across the world. And without period care, they often stop going to school and miss out on economic opportunities. So we're showing up for them. We've partnered with Salt Sustainable Period Care, AB Corp, with a 2% give back mission to donate period care and help fund initiatives in menstrual health. So each time you buy with Lady Gang at shop.theladygang.com, you're helping give girls in need planet saving period care so when their periods start their education doesn't have to stop plus go to salt.com slash pages slash lady gang for your own period care and get 15 percent off with code lady gang do amazing with total wireless get an unlimited talk text and data plan for 25 dollars per month one gig at high speed then 2g total wireless do amazing a month equals 30 days terms and conditions at totalwireless.com well, what is this? Welcome to the Lady Gang. That's amazing. Say that again. The Lady Gang. Things are about to change around here. Each week, we catch up with Hollywood's hottest girl posse, Kelty Knight, Becca Tobin, and Jack Vanek. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Lady Gang. I am Becca Tobin here with Jack Vanek and Kelty Knight. I thought for a second you were about to rip off your headphones and go to the bathroom. <laughs> like the old days. And that would be would not be the first time. Would be it in. really felt like that was going to happen. You know what? It still might. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I would like to kick this off because uh, it's time for... Good week. Yes, it is. Bad week. Oh, no. So, you know, a couple weeks ago, I talked about having a famous follower. Yes. yes. So, me and Jess Alba. Still, yeah. I still haven't heard from her. It's totally fine. Yeah. I know she's a it's rude. regular she's very busy. Doesn't she know that when you follow somebody, you need to send like an obligatory DM yeah. to say hello? Well, I get, I'm nervous because I want to like send her something mm-hmm. but then it feels like sh- what if she doesn't know she's following me then and that will raise you. flags mm-hmm. <laughs> then she'll unfollow you exactly that's happened to me before no yeah with like brands i'll be like oh my god thank you so much for the follow i'd love to work together and then it's like unfollow no because <laughs> i think and i don't i don't mean this that this is what happened to you but sometimes people have the bots that like follow people yeah like automatically yeah and then we'll unfollow them if they don't follow back if they but don't follow back you followed back so you're and she's still and she's still following you. Yeah, and it's been a little bit of time. So I think it's the real deal. Okay, well I don't want to brag, but I have another famous follower. Oh my what god! The hell? <laughs> Nobody follows me. Jesus Christ! Who? Well, it's not on the social media that you would expect, in but life? you know my in, our investing app, Public, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like social media, but investing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know how. I have no idea how I even uncovered this. Yes. But there's someone following me on this app who is famous. What? Is it Nelly? (laughs) <laughs> great great guess Why i'm figuring it's gonna, it's gonna no, be one of those people that's like was obscure. famous in the 90s yeah. and made some money and invested in an app okay 
Who? Michael Ma- Bolton. <laughs> Wait, no way. I would have never guessed that. Wow. That would have been my last guess. Bolton? Yeah, let me pull it up for you. I hope he's still following Time, me. Time, love, Michael Bolton and tenderness. even know how to use it? Isn't Michael Bolton like 80 years old? Oh, my God, no. <laughs> Michael Bolton? Michael Bolton is like 60, I think. Michael no. Bolton can still hit it. No, I know. I watched him in that stupid dating show that Michael. came on after The Bachelor. Oh, damn it. Bolton. <laughs> Did he unfollow you? He doesn't follow me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> wow oh, oh he's 68 wow i thought he was like i thought he was a great grandparent on age. 3 one he said music's my jam but i'm relatively new to this investing thing what are some companies you're watching in the music and entertainment space wait he, he definitely that? didn't write no no, no on his in, on his <laughs> feed oh that's i'm not just him. telling you what he's doing um okay is well is this profile picture kidding. long hair or short hair short hair oh the new michael new michael bolton do you remember he was with nicolette sheridan in when she was doing the desperate housewives phase like dating her yeah they were together i remember that i think Are they still i think he had like a love affair with nancy odell because really? i remember one time i interviewed him for et and i don't know why Everyone was talking about that. I don't know what it was. Oh, like he little, really loved her. Tea. And I was yeah. like, well, who didn't? He was with Nicolette Sheridan. They were like a really hot couple. I know. Was only... Michael Bolton hot when he was younger? Look, he's hot. Yeah, he's pretty no, hot. No, he's hot. He's hot Wait, in person. He's Kevin. He's little Kevin Costner. That looks like Kevin Costner. Yes. Are you can, sure that's not Kevin sings, Costner? right? No. Yes. Okay. I'm just making sure I'm thinking <laughs> of the right guy. He sings. <laughs> he, time, love, and tenderness. Come on. Uh, You're so young. Okay. Uh, anyway, what's your bad week well i guess it's that michael bolton <laughs> king unfollowed me <laughs> damn it what wow. did i do did i trigger him i don't think did you even... invest in too much crypto he's, he's no. definitely not even running that account that somebody is like he got a paid paid to do that and somebody else is doing it for him oh. so i wouldn't be that offended it's okay. really dark well, i'm, I'm sorry He's jack next um, at least i still have jess <laughs> you and jess i can't wait for her to uh, unfollow you when <sighs> she realizes okay my good week is you know cryptocurrency <laughs> no i've never heard of it before <laughs> sure do um there is a new cryptocurrency called vanic no the vanic coin no it's spelt, are you trademarked it's spelt v-a-n-e-c-k so it's not exactly my last name but mm-hmm. like i feel like mm-hmm. we should all make this a thing and have the vanic coin take off and then we can all be rich. Did well, you invest in it already? No, I don't know. I don't have any crypto. I don't know how. <laughs> I have no fucking idea. It really stresses me out. Like, don't, I can't even start about NFTs, but like everything in the crypto world, now you can buy crypto uh, real estate. So you can buy fake real estate in the multiverse mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm going to make Jared invest in some Vanek, uh, Vanek coin. This is my marriage in a nutshell. This morning I was getting set up to podcast and I was like, Hey Chris, can I borrow your computer charger? Cause I need two for my setup. And he was like, sure. Um, and I'm sitting across the desk and he goes, Oh, I'm going to the basketball game tonight. I was like, I said, oh, at the new crypto station. And he goes, ooh, let me check on how our crypto is doing. And then proceeded to look at his crypto app for like 15 minutes and never got me the charger. And I was like, (laughs) I need to move on with my life. Can I get a fucking charger? Does he have a lot of crypto? I think. I don't know what he does. I made him a deal. He's really into investing. Uh I made him a deal that I could spend as much money as I wanted on my kitchen renovation and he could have a chunk of money to invest in all his stupid investments. (laughs) So he invested in like some hedge fund and all that. I was like, I don't even know where he put it, but I was like, enjoy your life. I was like, I will be getting full marble that I will definitely ruin with soy sauce the minute I start to make a stir fry. I'm not sure yet. Wait, you cannot have real marble. I know. You ha- you Does cannot. Does it seep in? Yeah, she, it seeps in. You'll put like one lemon on that counter and you're... F- oh, you can't do that. You can't do it. No, 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 no. no. Anyway. All right. Invest in Vanek Bitcoin. Okay. Or coin it's or not- whatever. I don't know how they... they <laughs> I don't know what they do. Wow. My bad week is I got a really uh, nice diss in a DM. Oh, dark. Mm. From a lady. Mm-hmm. Um, I just posted a video of me watching TV. Like, I don't remember what it was. This was yeah. a few days ago. Mm-hmm. And a DM just said, your nails are, your nails gross me out so bad. I'm so sorry. (laughs) That's the only thing she's ever sent me, Hannah. And I didn't even have anything about my nails in my story. What was, show me the story. What was it of? Well, I can't tell. Honestly, your nails are immaculate. Like I would be freaked out because I do think. It was me watching The Bachelorette. 
I think with the extra long nails, I always feel like there's a little bit of poop under there. Mm, and so there probably is. But <laughs> there's a little bit of poop everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> if you but really wanna you have the you keep your nails immaculate. So I believe that you're poop free. <laughs> Thank I mean I'm probably you know, there literally are poop particles on your face right now. I know, I but hate to- like, I have you. very short nails, and I have more <laughs> dirt under my fingernails than you do, and you have very long nails. I try to keep them clean, you know? But it's nice. Hannah. <laughs> Hannah, you're dead. Rude. Rude. Oh, God, I'm so glad it's my turn because I have been waiting to tell you guys this for three freaking weeks. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Okay. Do you remember on Halloween when I saw the guy with the B-Pit yes. license yes. plate? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like... I swear to God, it's Brad Pitt. We called Chris Shell. Chris Shell, because there's a house for sale at the top of my street. Jason confirmed that Brad Pitt did not see that house. I live on a dead end street. I was like, there's no reason that Brad Pitt would be driving to my house. And then we put it out on the podcast and everyone was like, there's no way. It's really Brad Pitt in the thing. We put it on the podcast. A lady ganger sent me this article to Reddit. Little known fact. Up until recently, Brad Pitt had been driving a black U.S. SUV with a low-profile license plate, B. Pitt. And it's even a lesser-known fact about how it came about. So allegedly, Brad Pitt, George Clooney, Matt Damon, Don Cheadle, and Peter Berg were all playing Textum Hold'em at um, Texas Hold'em at Clooney's Lake Como getaway in Mm -hmm. Italy. Mm -hmm. And Clooney and Pitt were down to the last two. Clooney went all in. Pitt called where, uh, sorry, I'm trying to like read the, but, but, okay. so anyway, I don't know anything about this, but someone uh, lost a bet. Someone had to get beat lost a bet. On there. How about this instead? George says, winner takes the pot, loser drives around with a license plate bearing their own name for a year. Fuck you, George. I'm in, says Brad Pitt. And he lost. And so he has been driving. It was Brad Pitt. This is insane. Brad Pitt is driving a matte black, looks like a Range Rover, with a license plate that says B. Pitt. It was Brad Pitt in a Batman mask on my street. Wow. Why was he on your... Doesn't Don Cheadle live up here? Oh, my God. And Samuel L. Jackson lives up here. There you go. I think. Well, actually, I don't know if Samuel L. Jackson... I saw him once on a walk. So he could have just been coming over to the valley to enjoy the trees. But, like, usually, like, go on a hike near your house, right? Yeah. I mean, if you're walking up through the streets, yes. I bet he was going to Don Cheadle's house if he lives in the valley. Don, does Don, now Reddit, tell me this. Does Don Cheadle live in the high valley? High valley. Um, Anyway, I was so excited to tell you guys that. It was Brad Pitt. What a full circle moment for your story. Full circle. Good week. Wow. I the was... streets of, of Sherman Oaks are star studded. Star You guys, studded, he looked baby. so much you, like Brad Pitt. I bet you he has like a girlfriend was. up here. You think? Yeah. I mean, why would he be coming to a house? It's only residential where he lives. Yeah. He's not going to a business. He's in a mask. So he's going to be social. He's not in a he's business going to a meeting. party. He's going Sorry. to a party. Maybe like an eyes wide shut party, you know? Oh, so sexy. Oh, yeah. my God. Maybe it was the sex party that I went to where you have to wear a yeah. mask. Yeah. On Halloween? A Halloween sex a party? Halloween Allegedly, sex Brad party. Pitt was driving. Well, I didn't go on Halloween to the sex party, but I went... Do you think he was wearing the mask to, like, be discreet? Be discreet with I the just, Brad Pitt license plate? Like, listen, it happened I in, love this. in a flash. It happened in a flash, but I swear to God, he looked me in the eye, and his eyes said, yeah, it's fucking me in a Batman mask. Right. Like, I swear to Did God. Did he give you, like, a look? He looked right at my but face. like, a look? Not a look, <laughs> but, like, a look. Like, I looked at the license plate, I looked at him, and I swear to God, his eyes were like, It's Brad Pitt behind this (laughs) Batman mask. Like, I felt it. Okay. Here's my bad week. So, you know how we always talk about how I'm a tornado of life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had ultimate tornado. I'm glad we're here. The house is fine. I just want to tell everyone that everything's okay. Mm. So, I got home from this big trip to New York. Chris had been in New York for a month. I had been there for two weeks. And we have taken, we've bitten off, as they say, more than we can chew with this house. We got a big old house in the valley, and we really need, like, someone who knows how to run a house to help us with the house. Like, it's just yeah. too much. Chris is not handy. I'm all over the place. Like, it's just too much house. So, I get home. The pool guy, we do have a pool guy. He hasn't come for, like, a month. The entire pool is full of leaves. There. I guess there was, like, windstorms in L.A. Like, yeah. it was crazy. 
So the, and it's half empty. So I definitely have a leak in my pool and the pool's half empty. And I was like, well, this is crazy. Like, okay. So I put on, I turn this lever that like refills the pool. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to feed the lettuce grow. I'm going to like take the garbage out. I'm going to wash Cali. Like I start doing all that stuff after being away for a while that I start unpacking. And then I forgot about it. So then like five hours later, I come downstairs here in the Lady Gang office to get my Sunday night, like do my work, do my bujo, whatever. The entire room is flooded. Mm. I open the door to the, so the Lady Gang office has a back door. That's not my door of my house and a big steep staircase that goes up. So like people can enter and they don't have to come through the house. The entire carpet is flooded. It's full of water. I used every towel, every blanket in my house, blanket, blanket, blanket in my house to sop up the water. And I overflowed the the pool so much that it was then leaking down the side of my house Insane. and the worst part about it was that it was so full that it just had to keep leaking until it was empty enough that it stopped leaking so chris and i are out there we've just flown at like six in the morning are you getting buckets and emptying the pool buckets in the yard? baby every plant in my yard got some chlorinated water <laughs> this week we'll see if they let like i was throwing water over we filled up the hot tub with the pool water i'm like okay the coyotes can have a drink out here like it was oh. crazy anyway It's hard to be a homeowner. That's why I said to Jack, literally this morning we were talking, I was like, don't ever get a house. Like, it's awful. It's so much work. Oh, I won't be able to, so it's fine. (laughs) Don't worry. All right. Wow. That's it. Brad Pitt is real. Wow. We just went for a ride. We went for a ride in the Brad Pitt wagon. So the holidays can be hectic, stressful, or downright uncomfortable. And I mean uncomfortable in many ways, not just those jeans that are a little too tight, but like when your grandmother's asking you for the fourth time about your love life, or if you had a little too much champagne at the work party, let's give the gift of comfort to all the women in your life, like ultra soft loungewear for mom, fun sleepwear sets for your sister, premium activewear for friends, and luxe intimate sets for that someone special. Gifting third love means you're giving joy and feeling good in all day wear that hug better, hold stronger, and support longer. We've been big fans of Third Love over here for a very long time. It's the only brand I trust with my breasts. Does that sound weird? But it's true. We love their bras, but now they've got all this other luxe loungewear, sleep sets, all that, and be the best gift giver in your family by gifting to Third Love. We also love Third Love because it's the largest donor of undergarments in the U.S., donating over $40 million worth of bras to help people in need. So, feeling is believing. Upgrade to everyday pieces that love your body as much as you do. Right now, 20% off your first order at thirdlove.com slash ladygang. That's 20% off your third love order at thirdlove.com slash ladygang. Today's episode is brought to you by Zen Business. So I started my Jack Vanek brand when I was in college. I obviously had no experience starting a brand at all. And I know that it can be really, really intimidating, but enter Zen Business. Zen Business makes the business stuff of starting a business a lot easier so you can stay focused on your passion. The Zen Business platform gives you everything that you need to turn your idea into a money-making business and run it with ease. It's fast and simple business formation for LLC and other business structures. And they have a worry-free compliance and annual filings. So your business keeps its good standing and avoids fines and penalties from the state. They have a registered state agent service to handle all correspondence with the Secretary of State and other agencies. And you can secure an employer ID number so you can open a bank account, hire employees, and protect your personal assets. Zen Business has helped hundreds of thousands of people get their business off the ground by guiding them every step of the way and making it easier to launch a successful business. Get started today for as low as $49 at zenbusiness.com slash lady. That's zenbusiness.com slash lady. All right, lady gang, we're coming up on that time of year again. You're probably a big ball of stress. Your motivation's MIA. You're not really working out. So a little trick for you when it comes to stay in shape amidst all the chaos of the holidays, Obey Fitness makes the impossible possible. They've got everything from intense hit to spicy Pilates. They've got chill yoga classes live or on demand, and you need zero equipment. That's right. You can pop it on literally anywhere. And their fun yet fierce 10 minute express classes mean no excuses, even with a busy schedule. So the best part is if you want to try it, we have a whole free month for you to get through the holidays, a free month. So just use code LADYGANG at Obey Fitness. That's O-B-E fitness.com. Code LADYGANG. That is a free month. I'm telling you, just try these 10 minute express classes to start it off. You will get your motivation back and you'll be feeling good both mentally and physically and enjoy the holidays a little more. So go to ObeyFitness.com code LADYGANG. 
Today's episode is brought to you by Canva. So if you follow the Lady Gang along, you know that I do all of our creative work for us. And up until very recently, it's taken me forever to pretty much do anything. And that is until I discovered Canva Pro. It's such a game changer. So Canva Pro is a design platform that empowers you to create and share stunning content in just a few clicks. Designing with Canva Pro is amazingly fast and fun. You can choose from thousands of templates that are easy to customize, or what I usually do is start from scratch. And Canva Pro has endless premium fonts, photos, videos, and so much more that add personality and edge to whatever you're designing. Now, I've been using it for a lot of our Lady Gang decks that we're sending out, and I can design these decks in like probably one fourth of the time that it usually takes me. So design like a pro with Canva Pro. And right now you can get a free 45 day extended trial when you use our promo code. Just go to canva.me slash lady to get your free 45 day extended trial. That's C A N V A dot me slash lady canva dot me slash lady now back to the lady gang all right so many things happened in 2021 in the lady gang so this year was crazy i have so uh, much information about the things that happen in lady gang this year but overall mm. lady gang was crazy this year because you moved to austin in mm-hmm. january mm-hmm. it's a full year of remote lady gangness yep. we had one show covid is still <laughs> raging on yes jack got engaged um you had a new house i mean there's just been a lot going on yeah. so I just want to talk about some of the best things that happened this year to okay. us. So the best thing in the history of Lady Gang that happened in 2021 was the invention of... Sexy Mature. Obviously. <laughs> I mean, without a doubt. That's the number one thing. When people are like, what happened in the world? Did J-Lo and Ben get back together? It wasn't the invention. It was the discovery. The discovery of Sexy Mature. Yes. Thank goodness for your stupid app. I mean, <laughs> I feel so seen. And it's so funny because there's a woman who works for Lady Gang named Julia who helps us with like our e-commerce and yeah. like, the store. And so she was helping us like write copy um, for... For the clothes and we have the sexy mature sweater dress so she was like what's the tagline for this dress she's like sexy and mature and i was like julia the only people that know about sexy mature like the general population doesn't understand so when they see it they're like that's such a weird way to describe something yeah we maybe we should have thought about this if we're 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 trying to go like outward with the lady gang clothes (laughs) because we keep it too we keep it so insular like like, insular 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 um yeah because somebody might look at that the name of that dress and be like ew yeah totally that's what i was thinking and i I was like wait i've made it do you notice the names of anything you buy sometimes i don't ever i love i mean nail polish paint colors maybe but yeah sometimes yeah but it is a sexy mature dress it's sexy and mature so it it has like a nice like conservative but like show a little skin neckline exactly like collarbone the other thing we did this year which was very important is we discovered how chuggy we were yes that was at the beginning of the year or we weren't no that's true we were we were that was that quiz that we took was also like two months ago wasn't the beginning of the year no that was a way long that was like february i thought it was when we're all together it was we've only been together like two times three times becca was here in la i'm telling you it was when turner and hooch came out and you were doing press yep Remember when Tam- when she went on Tamron Hall and I was like, yeah, the and I spring. made you cookies. I still had an oven. I don't even have an oven. I went to the store yesterday to buy cookies for you to make fresh baked cookies because I know you love them. And then I was like, literally in the aisle talking to myself, I was like, what am I doing? I don't have an oven. I only have a microwave. You need a air fryer toaster oven. Ooh, an that, air fryer, yeah. That one that I purchased this year. Great, great purchase. Ooh. Mm-mm-mm. I love an air fryer. I don't okay. have one. So we started the year with Meredith Marks. Okay. She was our first was like, she? celebrity of you the year. You know what is so crazy? As I went back to look at all of our guests this year. I'm like, everything seems like it's so long ago. Uh-huh. Like years ago. I know. It's crazy. We really didn't have very many celebrities on this year. We didn't? The booking was terrible. Who the did bu- that? <laughs> that was not Kelty. <laughs> yeah. It was awful. Um, no, but we had, we had, we did a lot of episodes just us, which I kind of love. Yeah. And people seem to love it, but we had Meredith Marks. We had Lisa Barlow. Chelsea Handler. Hello. Well, yeah. Chelsea Handler is like the best guest of yeah, I didn't need of 2021. Else. Of Probably of Lady Gang. Of Lady yeah. Gang. Yeah. Let's I just put, so too. put it out there. Um, we had Lala Kent. Give uh, him the Lala. Yep. Pre breakup with her guy. And we had Teresa Caputo. Yep. Yep. Who did the reading, which yeah. was amazing. Um, we had Tasha. 
Love Tasha, and that was great. <gasps> Tasha is no longer with I her know. man. I know. Why? I never that always follow happens. Bachelor until unless we meet them. And yeah, what do you know? Happen? What do you think? Happened? I knew because you knew? what? Well, because I go on the subreddit every night before I go to bed, and the Bachelor subreddit knows when a breakup is going to happen weeks before it happens because these people pick up on the tiniest little things. Like what? Just that, like. They weren't. He d- didn't like comment the way that he used to. They'll pick up on like these little like behavior oh, things that yeah. people have, and they're like, social media is kind of bullshit unless it's somebody's like behavior that they've been doing for. A I year would be straight. good at this. I think it's great. They're like little detectives. I was able to spot two people that I follow this year who were going through divorces mm-hmm. way before. Yeah. Way before. Can like pick up on One still things. hasn't even been confirmed, but I think that's my you know, new job. You know, if you ever want to get into the bachelor, just get into that subreddit and you can I really can't. put your I, skills to the test. I cannot. But yeah, they knew before it happened, which is weird because they ran that, they ran a marathon together like a week before they announced their divorce. Mm, they committed a divorce. Was, they never got married or whatever. The, a week, a week divorce? They whatever well, they committed is. to that marathon and probably trained together. They well, knew they had to do it. And it was like a huge PR thing. Oh. Like everybody was mm. like taking pictures of them. So I'm sure that they had to be like, okay, we need to look happy. <gasps> <gasps> but you yeah. can't look happy running a marathon. That seems terrible. I actually, when I was in New York recently, I was like, should I run a marathon <laughs> no. oh god I don't you would never survive you would never think. survive my hips i can barely do a hike my hips are like <coughs> oh my god you can't no that's literally why people train for marathons because you yeah. can't just like do it right that just seems like do you, is running even fun no. not really no it hurts my knees <laughs> no i agree what's cool about this year of the episodes is that we got meredith and lisa really before salt lake city got so good on housewives like mm-hmm. i just want to use this opportunity and segue to tell everyone that uh yours truly appears in the new hulu documentary uh about jen shaw wait you do i'm what? watching it when are you watching it i just randomly put it on you, you haven't know got what? to my part yet <laughs> no, are you why like, are you on it do you have a talking part i well, I mean, I speak. They used a clip of my interview with them oh. from ET oh. in the documentary. Wow. wow! I got so many tags. I asked them what's. I asked Jen Shaw what's the most she ever spent on a party, and she says eighty thousand uh, dollars. Dummy! Oh wait, I did see that part. That was me. I must have not been watching the TV. <laughs> oh my god! I, I actually remember that quote specifically. It's like in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wearing the blue outfit. I have I my hair slicked right over. You didn't even it. realize it was your partner, no. Kelsey. My partner. Ooh, Jesus, that's so dark. It's because your voice is like white noise to us. Yeah. Right? I, don't even, like, I actually like turn tune it out. You're like, like ah, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> anyway, do you want to have a guess on what was the number one episode of our year? Like the most listened to? Mm -hmm. It's not who you're going to think. It's not Chelsea Handler? Nope. It's got to be a reality person. Think. Is it a reality person? Yes. Is is it a housewife? Yes. We only had two. (laughs) Jen Shaw. I mean, um, was it Meredith Marks? Yes. Number one episode of the year. Number two. Allegedly, we're sexy mature. See, people love wow. sexy mature. They it is a powerful, on... powerful it title. Meant. God, it really was. Allegedly, we're sexy mature. It takes everything you love about Lady Gang. Allegedly, what's happening and sexy mature came together. We really need to trademark that sexy mature. Um, you probably can't. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way somebody has trademarked that. Well, yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants it. You don't think? <laughs> no. All right. Well, let's I'll get search. into it. I'll do a little search. Um, third was sex with Emily. Mm. And Monica Padman. Great. Remember we had Monica? Yeah. We were so happy. Did you forget that? No, no, no. I was happy. I wasn't stoked that she didn't post about it. Mm. She knows as a podcaster what that means to us. Mm-hmm. And it s- felt shitty. Oh. It really hurts my feelings when people don't post, especially because we do so much work inside to make you a beautiful, classy ass, like yes. cool thing to post. It's so easy when we tag you a million times to just, just a little repost. repost. You don't even have to put the link. Just yeah. a repost. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Wow. Mm. Becca is. And listen, I. Feel the shade. Do you still listen to, or have you gone off that show? No, no, no. I still listen, but I have really been binging Smartless instead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It wasn't because of Monica, but I really. It didn't help. You're going over to the other side. Going to the other side. No, I'm, I'm doing both. They still do an incredible job. And, and let's be honest, if anybody understands that things can, you can be so busy that you forget to do certain things, mm-hmm. that is me. So mm-hmm. she very well could have just slipped her mind. I know mm-hmm. she's running that entire mm-hmm. empire pretty much on her own. But, you know, 
Mm. It's just mm-hmm. within the mm-hmm. podcasting community, there's an understanding. Yes. There is an unspoken yes. world. It's, it's, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yes. Unspoken rule. Dark. Rule. Rule. <laughs> okay. So here's my question for each of you mm-hmm. and me. Mm-hmm. How did you grow and change in 2021? Oh. Jack? Um... <sighs> I think I've been a little bit nicer to myself. Oh, I love that for you. Um, Like with like body image stuff. I think I've grown a little bit in the sense where I'm not letting things bother me and get under my skin as much as I used to. An example would be um, I did this photo shoot recently and we sent the photos off to a retoucher. The photos came back and the retoucher like completely retouched my face, Mm -hmm. the shape of my face. Mm. The shape? Yes. Like in a way where it was a picture of me looking straight forward. So it was like Mm -hmm. not an angle or anything to the point where like my eyes aren't at the same level. Like one of my eyes is higher than the other, like moved my eyes to the, to the same place, like made my nose smaller, made my lips bigger, like changed the shape of my face. And if I was at like any other point in my life, I would have spiraled like it would have sent me into a shame spiral but like I took it and I was like okay I'm not gonna let this bother me I'm gonna like detach myself from like letting this like really get under my skin Mm -hmm. but that's something that would have literally like sent me over the edge seeing that like somebody else looking at my face being like this is what I think is wrong with your Uh, face and this is what I would change to make you more attractive basically yeah it was a that interesting i put the pictures on top of each other in photoshop and like i went back and forth and back and forth oh god don't and i do was that. like well because i was like i look completely different i was like this, i don't think this is what i look like well here i think the this retoucher- is the opposite what? i love that like when my photo got over retouched <laughs> i was like i'm so beautiful <laughs> Like I literally like this. So interesting how it can affect you differently. Well, because, because I was like, this is who I've always supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I see when I look in the mirror. Oh like thank God. God the rest of the world can now see it. Well, I have like, I have like body dysmorphia with my face. Like I don't know what I look like. And I think right. I look like a melting monster when I look at myself okay, in well, pictures. I yeah. look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, I, I look okay. Mm-hmm. And then I'll see a picture of myself and I'm like, I'm the most hideous person in the entire world. It's not true. Yeah. So then. But seeing somebody else like change things about my face, because yeah. mm-hmm. I'm like, you're changing this because you think this looks better. Mm-hmm. It is like, that's not great for somebody that is like going through like issues with their own like self image. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but I didn't like, I Spiral. took a moment and I was like, okay, yeah. like if I can let this take me one way or the other. And I kind of like paused and I didn't let it ruin my mind. Wow. So I thought that was like, I a love little, that. That's huge. That's amazing. Yeah. I love that. That's your what's happening to you before you get married because mm. then you can actually like enjoy your wedding and enjoy the wedding photos and like not be so self-conscious the whole time like you're going to be able to like really thrive i'll still hate them but that's okay live your life i'm not letting I, it like it's i can still not be happy but about it you know yeah. what i mean but not let it like ruin mm-hmm. my day mm-hmm. i think that that's it's like the kind of like body neutrality yeah. mindset of just being like i don't have to love myself but i can kind of just i mean i'd love it. you to love yourself but you know i love that for you that's hard i look like, at i now do this thing where i look at little old ladies and i think it do, it didn't matter no it didn't matter for you did you spend your life worrying about the way you looked because right now you just look like a little old lady and yeah. that's great and that's beautiful i'm like and you're lucky I, you're alive yeah when i get to the point of being a little old lady god willing i hope that i didn't spend my whole fucking life Hating obsessing mm-hmm. over the things that really didn't matter mm-hmm. yeah 100 percent This episode of Lady Gang is brought to you by a very happy Mr. Chris Knight. That's right. Rothy's is a sponsor of Lady Gang, and I just got him a brand new pair of white sneakers. And the reason they're so great, and I love mine, is that everything at Rothy's you can just put in the washing machine, hello, and you can just do the washing machine and they're brand new again. Get $20 off your first purchase at rothys.com slash Lady Gang with extended returns and exchanges through the holidays. The other day he was like, are Rothy's really that good? And I was like, oh my God, it's been years I've been talking about this on the podcast. So we ordered another the pair. They came in the mail. They're so freaking cute. It's the holiday season. Take the guesswork out of gifting. They're comfortable. They're washable. They're durable. They're chic. They're affordable. And they're better for the planet. Head on over and get $20 off your first purchase at rothys.com slash ladygang with extended returns and exchanges through the holidays. That's rothys, R-O-T-H-Y-S dot com slash ladygang. rothys.com slash ladygang. rothys.com slash ladygang. Okay, ladies, can't remember the last time you wanted sex? Oh, you've got kids in the car? Oh, we'll call it 
ice cream. Listen, ice cream, you scream, but maybe not for a set. I mean, ice cream. Oops. If your desire for ice cream feels well, like a rocky road, you're not alone. Millions of women have felt their libido melting away because of a medical condition known as hypoactive sexual desire disorder or HSDD. But unlike brain freeze, HSDD can be treated. Maybe it's time to change the flavor of the day from not in the mood to libido renewed. So whether you're into plain vanilla or the queen of whipped cream, down to cone or deciding between the big or little spoon, it's time to scream for ice cream again. Visit ScreamForIceCreamAgain.com to learn more. That's ScreamForIceCreamAgain.com. Do amazing with Total Wireless because when you move to Total Wireless, you can get an unlimited plan with incredible devices. Now with 5G available in 2,700 plus cities, capable device and SIM required. Get our best deal ever with an unlimited talk, text, and data plan for $25 per month per line for four lines with 100 gigs of shared high speed data, then 2G, which can save you up to $80 each month when compared to comparable four line postpaid plans from the leading carrier. All of this on the network more Americans depend on. Actual availability coverage and speed may vary. Visit TotalWireless.com slash coverage slash check for more detailed coverage info. Plus, when you move to Total Wireless, you can get the latest devices like the newest smartphones and even hotspots to keep you connected to what matters the most, all with no contract. Discover us at TotalWireless.com today. Total Wireless, do amazing. A month equals 30 days. A 30-day cycle for shared family data plans begins on the day of the first line or device is activated. Any lines or devices activated later in the first 30-day cycle will receive only the number of days remaining in that cycle. Savings claim excludes taxes, fees, auto pay discounts, and limited time pricing. Source competitor websites, April 2021. You're listening to The Lady Gang. How did you grow and change this year, Becca? Well, I recently came to a realization. Two, th- two major things changed in my life. I obviously became medicated for anxiety yeah. and depression. Mm-hmm. Um, but within that journey... Someone recently said something to me in the last couple months that has changed everything about the way that I exist. So I used to go through all these med- like meditations or if I ever had an intention or a goal or whatever, it was always to be more present, to yeah. be more present. And I just didn't know how to really do that. Like I just mm-hmm. didn't really know how to be present. But someone recently said, anxiety is thinking into the future. Depression is thinking yeah. about the past and like there's a really neutral mindset that comes with being present. Mm. And I think me trying to take a hold of my anxiety, like kind of the, the byproduct of me trying to not be anxious. Cause I'm reminding myself, well, you're going into the future. You're here right now has actually really helped me and been a gift of like being in the moment right now, if that makes any sense at all. Yeah. So by forcing myself to be like, you're thinking too far. I'm like, oh my God, this is what people mean when they say to be present. It's not cons- like, it's not being anxious about everything that's coming. Right. If that makes mm-hmm. sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The other change that I had was I no longer feel a desperation to prove myself um, in my acting. Oh. Ooh. Because I got a really great job and a- I loved every moment of it. I was so grateful. But before getting that specific job, I was like really desperate to prove it to myself and to other people that I could work again. That you weren't yeah. like a one hit wonder I, or yeah. whatever. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I did that thing and it was wonderful and amazing, but I also kind of feel like, all right, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. it was great. I would do it again, but I don't feel I have this completely new mindset about my acting career. I love that because Mm -hmm. it's like, as you're doing, having these other ventures and doing other things too, you can take whatever your acting career is now for what it is. Yeah, It's like, you can make good money doing it. You can like explore your craft, but it doesn't have to be, you're living for the next role type of a thing. And you're out there doing a bunch of other shit that is honestly more important than acting anyways. Exactly. And acting, it like scratches the itch that I'll always have, Mm -hmm. which is like the little kid who likes to sing and dance and whatever. And I know that I'm always going to want to go back to that, but it's, but it's for the reason, the right reasons, because I just want to do that again. It's not because I worry that I'm never going to be able to get that next good job. Granted Turner and Hooch was not glee, yeah, but in a lifetime, usually people don't get that twice. I just wanted to at least get the next job again to prove like to like whatever that is, whatever that represents. It's really stupid and superficial, but now I kind of feel like, okay, 
I good. love that. There's so few, if you think about actors and actresses, like there's so few other than like a Meryl Streep who get to have like multiple crazy Big. ass, like yeah. even the friends, especially TV actors. Right. Like, oh, yeah. it's like, Joey from Friends is on Man with a Plan mm-hmm. or whatever that show is. What you know what I mean? Any of them, yeah. Really, I mean Jennifer Aniston, obviously, but that's well, like she's a. Special but she went course. on to be a movie star. Like right. yeah. she didn't even do an, another TV, another hit TV show. No. Right. So it's it's so interesting. Oh, I'm so excited for you. I know that's what a about, great realization. Yeah, I think crazy. so too. I'm like, thank you. I'm almost 36 I years old. It's so annoying I know. that this is when I'm figuring things out. But like, this is when people figure shit out. I Nobody guess. figures shit out in their 20s. I like, guess not. 30s are like hopefully Ugh. hopefully you start figuring it out in your 30s Kelty, well, as what the about woman you? about to turn 40s <laughs> <laughs> um actually that's i think what i learned about myself this year so i have dreaded this year because my birthday is in a january january birthday so i'm always so motivated january 1st and then my birthday comes and i get super depressed yeah. because it's like i have two new year flips over in one month. Yeah. Like it's a new You're year a new, and then it's a yeah. new age. Mm-hmm. And I turned 39 this year and I just felt like it's over. Like kind of similar to you, Becca. I was like, it's over. The best Kelty has been. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just going to now fade into the oblivion of my life <laughs> and be unimportant. And like, I was really depressed about it. And just the aging process of it's not so much getting old because I feel like I do. I feel like I look beautiful for my age and I like myself. Like, I know that's like, I'm not supposed to say that, but I do like, I I'm happy, but I was just dreading this age. I was like, it's over. I've just been programmed by society to be like, wow, she looks good for her age. Yeah. She looks good. Uh, she's still killing it in a bikini at 40. Like, it's like, you're not allowed to exist, but it's been an interesting mesh of two feelings because I'm dreading turning 40, but I also am feeling the most centered that I have in my whole life. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I know that I'm maybe my best self at this moment, but also like all of society is telling me this is, you're bad. Like you're a rotten fucking banana. Yeah. Let's make banana bread anyway. So I think what happened this year is that I had so many, um, I would say like medical emergencies, but like I had so many people in my life, whether it was friends or family, be ill or sick or be struggling in some way, truly with their bodies, not just like mentally, like with their bodies, like things were happening. And it was like, as if I know the universe does not, well, maybe we're in a simulation. I'm not sure, but Mm, I know the universe is not sending me shit just to like, for me personally to learn a lesson, but having everyone around me physically in their bodies be ill, Mm -hmm. it's serving you. Yeah. Yes. I went and saw my 92 year old grandmother who has an amputated leg and like, I, it was just a, a bunch of things that I started the year dreading 40 and I'm literally ending the year thinking I'm so honored to turn 40. Yeah. Like I'm so excited that I can squat, hike, love, run, health, haven't had like a serious injury. You know, like I I'm healthy. I like myself. I like my body. I like my husband. I like my friends. I like my life. Like what an honor it is to turn 40 healthy. Yeah. You know, healthy and vibrant and whether my career or anything else is where I want it to be. Of course, I'm always going to wish for something more, but like, instead of looking at 40 as like, it's over, I'm looking at it like what an honor to get old. Like you said, yeah. like what an honor that I've been able to get that, that I've lived. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Well, and it's like, I wouldn't trade the mindset that I was in, in my twenties no. for that body, that face, that anything. Yeah. yeah. I really genuinely don't. I was not happy. No. I was surviving. Mm -hmm. I was having like good and bad, like, but I was not in my soul thriving. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think you know how to thrive at that age. No. Mm -hmm. Well, your brain is literally still developing. Yeah. Yeah. So it is kind of. (laughs) Jack always comes in with a brain development. Your brain doesn't fully develop until you're 26. So to think that you're doing anything fully before that, like you're not, you don't have a fully formed brain. Mm -hmm. It's so true. So, yeah. I mean, I think that it's hopefully we can all end up in like a mindset, especially that you're talking about, Kelty. Like, and there is another question, I think, for this episode where I don't. Like, what are you bringing Mm -hmm. into 2022? Mm -hmm. And, like, my answer was going to be, like, I'm 
being very proactive about my health because I think that's what COVID Mm -hmm. kind of like the lesson I learned from COVID is to like, you need to fucking take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. Cause if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. Yep. So whether that's like, I'm taking my vitamins every morning, like I'm making sure that my gyno appointments are on time because you know, everybody oh has God. HPV and you got to go every six months mm-hmm. to like, I was having these like crazy heart palpitations and I'm like, I need to go into the doctor. Like mm-hmm. I got to figure out what's going on. Mm-hmm. And I have like really bad anemia that I like never knew about that I'm finally starting to take care of. And it's like those little things turn into big things if you don't take care of them. Mm-hmm. So it's like, if you don't have your health, you can't experience any of these other good things that life has to offer you. Mm-mm. It's easier to look in the mirror because obviously I've done a ton of like stuff to my face and I feel like my face is lovely, but like the neck, there's really nothing you can do. <laughs> we t- I talk about it with Rebecca all the time. She's like, go look at all of the actresses like in the black and white era movies. Like they always had a shadow like or a scarf. Like yeah. with their faces stayed great and because they would like tape them back, you know, yeah. there's like, there's nothing to do about your neck. And I was like, she's like, it's turtlenecks and lighting bitch. And I was like, okay. But when I get up in the morning and I look at my neck and I'm like, yeah, this is, this is going to be a problem. Like this is going to drive you nuts for the rest of your life. I'm like, well, thank God. Do you know how many head rolls I've done at a party? Do you know how many dance rocket, you know, like moves I've done. Do you know how many, how many hours I've spent talking? Like my neck has held up my giant fucking brain <laughs> for 40 years. Like be a little more thankful for your neck. Yeah. Be nice to your neck. Yeah. Even well, though and it's who tricky. does it offend? Nobody. Nobody cares. And nobody's fucking thinking about it or notice. Literally it. no one's That's a big lesson I've learned in my thirties is like everybody's too far obsessed with their, themselves and has their own head up their own ass. Nobody notices the little things that you're fucking obsessing about. Never. And also if they did, nobody gives a, f- I've never looked at a lady, a lady, <laughs> another girl. And like that had cellulite and being like, Oh, ew. And like yeah. focused on somebody mm-hmm. else's cellulite the way that I focus on my own. Never. I'm like, I literally am like, Oh great. It's a woman with a body. Like I've never noticed nor cared, nor did it change my opinion about anything. So I think that's a big realization. Hopefully a lot of minute women learn as they get older that like with your physical body, like nobody cares. Mm-mm. Nobody cares. Um, I did want to ask you, what are you, what are you leaving in 2021, which you already said, and what are you like not taking into 2022? Hmm. What are we not taking in? Like what bullshit are you leaving? I mean, I guess we kind of just talked about That's it. That's kind of, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm like, I'm leaving the, I think this whole conversation has just been a reminder of it really doesn't matter about anything other than how granted it sounds selfish, but it's like, how am I feeling about this thing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do I want to be doing about this thing? And and there are times when you have to put yourself out. And this is like a constant battle that Zach and I have actually as a mm-hmm. couple is I was raised. We're both raised in the South. There is a very specific type of person who's raised in the South. And a lot of the time mm-hmm. they're lovely people. And it's like, love your neighbor and go out of your way to bring a casserole mm-hmm. and say yes to any favor that's asked of you. Like if you say no, you're the biggest dick Uh and no one will let you forget it. So you're raised to go out of your way to do all this stuff, but it's a very unhealthy thing for a woman. Mm -hmm. I think for men, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And Zach is the guy that you call that will come to pick you up on the side of the road with a, with a broken down car. Mm -hmm. Like he's amazing. But as, as a woman, it, it's really hard to stop the people pleasing and Mm -hmm. stop doing all of these things for everyone else. But at the end of the day, the self-preservation is so important. Like I can't be a good person to anybody if I'm not taking care of myself and I can't take care of myself if I'm beating myself for being a loser when, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's like that sort of a thing. It's like, really, how do I feel about things? How do, what do I want to do about things? Well, it's like putting your oxygen mask on first. Exactly. Like that's how like you really do need to think about life. Cause you also can't be good to anybody no. else or do anything fully if you're not taking care of yourself and being the best yeah. of yourself to put out there for the people that you love in your life. And a lot of women, like your biggest fear is to walk away from a situation and, and not be liked. A hundred percent. You know, well, and that's I, not my biggest fear, but no, it's definitely not. <laughs> your, and I envy that about you. Yeah, like, I it's really, a nice way to live. It's a nice, uh, like, no, cause it simulation. literally like, it like destroys people. Yeah. The people pleasing. Oh my like, God. One of my, one of my good friends, it's definitely fueled by a lot of like trauma in her childhood, but like she is an over people pleaser to the point where like she literally like destroys herself doing it yeah. mm. because she cares so much about being accepted and being like 
liked yeah. that it's it, it's a huge problem. Mm-mm-mm. And like, if you like me or not, it doesn't affect my life. That's the other thing that's crazy that I, the realization that takes so long to get to. Yeah. I'm like, it's, I'm not affected. Like, it does not actually change my life or, you know. Like, for me, it's very insular. It's like, is Chris happy? Are my parents okay? Yeah. Like, is my fa- are we okay? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. is Lady yeah. Gang good? Like, you know, I, like, just those little things that even with friendship and stuff, like, so many of my friends now have kids, right? Like, we're just at that, like, I mean, and some of my ki- friends have, like, 12-year-olds, which is mind-blowing. But they're very busy in their lives, mm-hmm. you know? And I understand that I'm not the friend that people are calling to talk about mom shit with. Of course. Because when you complain to me about being a mom, I'm just like, cool, <laughs> I slept till 10. <laughs> like, I'm the worst. Like, I'm, yeah. a, I'm the memory of what your life used to be. And so, like, it's, it's kind of weird sometimes in my friendships because people are definitely at a different stage in their life. But it's like... I'm good at not being that person for you. Mm-hmm. And like, you I'm not offended that you don't call me. And I hope you're not offended that I can see you're in child land. And like, I'm also not reaching out because I'm in my land. But that also doesn't make you any less of a friend. No, and exactly. a good friend should know, you know, you have different friends do different things for yeah, you. Exactly. But I'm just like the, the whole people pleasing or like doing things because you have to do them is just, we're out. We're leaving that in 2021. 2022 is about l- like, keeping the stuff that works for you and creating your life around a healthy universe for yourself. Well, and there is, I think it's a good thing to end on something like this. There is a really good, like inspirational quote, which I usually hate, but it's like, if you're living a life where everybody loves you, you're not living authentically (gasps) enough. mm. Oh yeah. I just saw that. Save it on Instagram, bitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's true. It's It's like, you're definitely molding yourself. It was on Anna Rose's. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) That's why we all saw it. She, she loves an inspirational quote. Um, but yeah, I think that that's like a good thing to take into 2022. I'm really proud at what we accomplished this year. And I love you both so much. And we weren't, nope. We'll see you next Tuesday. We'll see you next Tuesday. (laughs) Love you too. Thanks for listening. The Lady Gang is produced by Alex Ingber, Steve Delameter, and Jared Monaco. Make sure you subscribe, rate, and review our podcast. And if you love it, share it with your friends on social media. Like, oh my God, I just listened to Lady Gang. This episode's so great. Swipe up to listen. And if you really want to, which we know you do, please follow us on social. At Kelty, at Becca, at Jack Vanek, and at The Lady Gang. Sign up for our newsletter at theladygang.com and join our secret Facebook group. It's super fun. See you next Tuesday.